Burnley nil, Preston nil. Wow, where do I start with that one? That wasn't good at all to watch. It was very frustrating, um, hard to watch. You know, it, yeah, it, it was painful um, is what I would say. Um, it's getting a little bit concerning now. We are really struggling to score some goals, putting these teams to bed who are sitting. Um, I thought Preston was the better side. You know, they had um, a goal which I believe what I've been told was onside. I haven't seen it back. Um, they had better chances. You look at the stats. Um, yes, we beat them in possession, but the the beaters on on shots on target. Um, you know, aerial duels and stuff like that. They they were just the better side. And for a team that's no disrespect, that's towards the bottom of the table, we should be punishing these teams, especially at home. Um, you know, it's it's not good enough. Um, yeah, um, just what do we have? Will we have one shot on target, I think. The only one I can remember is the Jaden Anthony chance, which that was really a, quite an easy save. Um, but other than that, there was nothing to shout about, nothing to rave about, nothing to get excited about. It's It's just... Something needs to change now. There needs to be a tweet somewhere in, in formation because Foster looks really isolated. He's up there on his own. I feel sorry for him. Um, he's gained no support whatsoever. Um, you know, the, the wingers are not coming close to him at all. They're just, you know, spread, spreading out the, the wide... You know, he's, he's trying to, Foster's trying to hold the ball up up top. And, you know, if he's not winning them, you know, them aerial duels, you know, the, these wingers for me need to start coming inside and picking up the scraps and keep the momentum going. But like um, Hannibal, he, he, he's not, he, I mean, he, he played really well, I thought. He, you know, he got stuck in and, you're trying really hard, um, running about, but I'm not. I'm not seeing that quality of him. Um, you know, he's he's miles away from Foster. Um, yeah, yeah. We we need to change something. You know, we put Fleming on later on in the game, but it, it's just far too late. Um, we've got to make Parker for me needs to make more bolder. Um, changes no braver changes you know yes he put um connor roberts on at half time which yes was a, a gun move because we needed a right-sided footer uh right back you know humphreys has done nothing wrong in my opinion he's you know he's he's come in in an unusual position for him he's a center half left footer playing right back you know he's, he's putting a good performance to say that's not his position i think he's He's doing really well the last few games. Um, but we look we look better uh, balanced with Roberts obviously in there and obviously with his experience. You know, Esteve, you know, he's brilliant. You know, he had an absolute, you know, rock solid game again. He's dead reliable. Uh, Perez, you know, he's, he's, you know, building up his confidence and I think, see, CJ Riley is another one who's just needs games, just building up. He, again, he didn't do anything majorly wrong. Same with Trafford. The, yes, there was a couple of kicks that he did down the middle of the pitch where where you think, oh god, here, here we go, they're going to catch us on the break. But he didn't. He didn't have much to do again. Uh, I thought, but like with in terms of Cullen and Brownie, I thought they, they were a bit. They were a bit quiet today. I thought. Um. Yeah, they just look like a bit bit absent today. I don't know if because of the the run of games and look getting a bit tired, a bit uh, jaded. But um, yeah, they just really didn't get on the foot of the ball and force the men forward. Um, Coley Osho, oh, 
he he's he's had a bad game today. Um, there's been numerous of games now this season, um, where he has struggled. Um, I, I don't think his touch is there. Um, you know he, he lost the ball so many times, and it's so frustrating to watch. I'm, I, uh, I, I don't know where his head's at. Um, but when he's getting the ball. He's, he's just running at the, the defender. Like, he's not... I don't understand why, with his pace, just stay on the on wide, just on the line, just knock it ahead five, six yards ahead of you and just burn him. Use your pace. Use your pace. Whereas he's, he's trying to, like, take these players on, but he's not utilising the space enough for me. Um, All he has to do is just whip the ball in low, like, like he only did a couple of times today, and one of, you know, the, the strikers will get on the end of him, but he, he's overcomplicating things, and yeah, I'm, right now I'm just, I'm just, I'm just not seeing it. I think he's a bit overhyped, and the Burnley, you know, fans' eyes. I, I can't. Yes, he's young. He's he's got a lot of time on his hands, but right now I I don't see it personally. When Wolves came in with that sort of price tag, I, I thought Burnley would have snapped their hands off. We're at 25, 30 million. Wow, like, I would have snapped their hands off with that that sort of money. But, you know, Jaden Anthony, yeah, he's, he's he's just a very good championship player. Um, I, I thought the first half, he, he did quite well, actually. He, he was probably the only player who thought, right, something's going to happen here. When he got the ball, he was, you know, uh, causing their right back... Um, bit of trouble but yeah it's just not good enough um, th there's going to have to change this midfield uh, three somehow obviously it's great to see Fleming uh, come back in the, the team and I think that needs to happen Fleming needs to start up front with Foster because he needs help and it's going to be a difficult one who we drop um, that's the one for Parker for me, but um, you know, if I was a manager, I I probably play um, yeah, Cullen Brownhill, if I'm gonna be honest, and maybe drop Hannibal, which is hard to say. But yeah, we we're gonna have to do something to support Foster to because. Right now, we are struggling for goals, big style. Um, since the transfer closed, the last six games, we've only scored five goals. And with the team that we've got, you know, and the quality of players we've got, we, we should be scoring more goals. Um, but the positive is we didn't get beat. We got another clean sheet. Um, you know, we're still up there, but... We definitely need to massively improve. And I think with this international break coming now, I think it will give us a good time now to uh, recharge, reset, and uh, come up with something different because it, it just it just needs a few tweaks here and there. Hopefully get some lads back who are injured at the minute. Uh, yeah, but... Trying to stay positive, but I just want Parker to be a bit more bolder with his um, uh, decisions. You know, go after these teams, you know, push for these three points. Because I think when he brought on Lauren, you know, he, he can do a job on his own, in my opinion. He can he can just sit there and then, like he does, he don't go forward much, you know, we need that other body going forward and staying forward and support the strikers. But yeah, um, got to stay positive, uh, Clarets fans. You know, it's a long season, but we can do this. But right now, I, I'm seeing this team as a top six side at the minute, uh, not automatic. Um, but there's plenty of games to improve and get up that table. Um, so yeah, come on Burnley, let's be having you up the clarets.